The staff and administration would like to take this time to welcome you to our Parent University. Parent University is a means of opening doors of communication between the staff of MHS and its parents. This year, the staff at MHS is continuing to review grading and assessment strategies. The goal of Parent University is to invite parents to discover what the staff has learned, as well as open the door for parents to not only ask questions, but to provide suggestions to assist in making McFarland High School the best school in Wisconsin. The assessment and grading strategies used by the staff at MHS is changing. Have you wondered why some teachers are not grading homework? Are you wondering why teachers no longer provide extra credit opportunities? Are you wondering why many teachers are now allowing students to reassess? Are you curious why some classes are now using a four-point scale? MHS staff, along with McFarland School District, have studied many of the leading experts in education. These experts include Rick DeFour, a nationwide leader in the creation of professional learning communities. Over the past three years, administrators and teachers at not only the high school, but all the buildings in the district have attended DeFour's conferences and learned how to create a collaborative environment that is focused on student achievement, as well as how to provide interventions and enrichment opportunities for all students. Rick Wormelli is a former teacher and expert in assessment strategies that accurately reflect student achievement. Several staff members attended Wormelli's conference and have started to implement strategies that improve student learning by providing immediate and specific feedback, as well as provide students and parents with grades that more accurately reflect student achievement. Finally, the staff at MHS has read Ken O'Connor's A Repair Kit for Grading, 15 Fixes for Broken Grades. This book study has provided a blueprint for our staff to review and begin implementing more effective assessment strategies. These experts have taught us to create our guiding questions for collaboration. These questions are, what do we want students to know and be able to do? How will we know? What do we do for students who can't? And what do we do for students who already can? These four questions guide our discussions during staff meetings, professional development days, as well as collaboration opportunities during the school day. So why are we re reviewing grades? Many of the leading educational experts in the world have found that timely, actionable feedback is one of the most powerful influences on student learning. A traditional grading system reduces everything that a student does to a single letter grade making it neither timely nor actionable. The most effective feedback teachers can provide to students comes in relationship to predetermined learning goals. Marzano said, why would anyone want to change current grading practices? The answer is quite simple. Grades are so imprecise, they are almost meaningless. These questions forced us to review our grading strategies because grades lack consistency. There's multiple grading scales, multiple definitions of what's essential, and multiple forms of assessments. Some grading includes questionable practices such as extra credit for unrelated work such as bringing in a box of Kleenex for points or having a course syllabus signed by parents. These practices do not measure student achievement. Some grading practices are confusing. What does a B plus actually mean? What does an 85% mean? Why do some courses have curves and others do not? Why do students receive grade bumps for taking certain courses? Students need to change their attitudes about grades. Are we grading for earning points or are we grading for learning? Students know how to play the game in school, but are they trying to earn points or learn the skills and material? Homework is one example of something that we are looking at. Grading discrepancies do exist. Students' grades don't always line up with what students know. We know this from comparing standardized test scores with classroom grades. Are we grading for behavior or grading for knowledge? So what have we done so far? As mentioned earlier, the district has made a strong commitment to become a professional learning community, both financially and by providing the manpower for staff to become leaders within each building. Teachers and administrators are collaborating side by side based upon the work tools provided by Rick DeFore and his colleagues. Eight teachers from McFarland High School attended Rick Wormelli's conference and returned with a drive and energy to improve assessment strategies. When that group shared their experience with the staff, the committee of eight grew to over 15 teachers. These teachers met all last year to share their thoughts and experiences with those who were excited to jump in as well as those who were apprehensive. As the 2016-17 school year started, even more staff jumped on board 
and are willing to work to improve assessment strategies. The entire staff read Ken O'Connor's book. Our building leadership team met this summer and committed to implementing six of these fixes. These fixes were introduced to the entire staff and we start to collaborate how we will implement these suggestions during the course of the school year. The six fixes we will begin to implement this year are only include academic achievement. In other words, grades should reflect as peer a measure of academic achievement as possible. Seek only evidence that more work has resulted in a higher level of achievement, not through extra credit, but other learning opportunities instead. Use clear descriptions of academic expectations. Students should be provided with as clear a description of achievement expectations as possible. Grade students on their own achievement rather than comparing to others. Rely only on quality assessments. And finally, include students in the grading process to promote ownership of learning. Using clear descriptions of achievement expectations are the identification of desired learning outcomes for all classes. These are the standards for which teachers should provide specific feedback to students. Meaningful feedback goes beyond points earned or a grade on a test, but instead of the benchmarks that students are expected to achieve and teachers will provide the instruction to get students to become proficient. Teachers will pilot several different grading practices that include the six recommendations of the building leadership team, as well as other strategies learned by staff from the experts. Staff will share their experiences with each other during collaborative meetings, staff meetings, and professional development days. As we gain clarity of what works best, the expectations will tighten, and MHS will be able to become more consistent in each classroom, and we will be able to offer support to students who need it, as well as offer enrichment opportunities for students who already meet expectations. One of these pilots will be an employability skills grade. Grades are often complicated by non-academic factors such as behavior, completed practice or homework, attendance, verbal participation, or collaboration. With this in mind, some staff will include these behaviors as a separate grade on the report card, while others are including this as an unweighted category in the gradebook. The goal will be to provide information to parents regarding these non-academic skills. We are committed to continuing our study of experts in the field of education. We also plan on making visits to other schools and speaking with other teachers who are already using these practices. Our plan is to share experiences with each other in hopes of creating a systemic approach that truly provides interventions for struggling students and enrichment opportunities for those who already meet expectations. During this process, there is one more group of people we need to include, and that is you, the parents. We invite you to attend Parent University to hear more specifics regarding what we have learned. The goal is not to speak to you, but to provide you the opportunity to ask questions, to gain clarity, and an understanding as to what is really going on. We also want to hear from you. We have no doubt that from experiences you have gained as both a parent and a former student, you have suggestions to make our assessment strategies better, and we want to hear them. MHS has also started a student advisory group, and that group will also be afforded the opportunity to learn about our new strategies, as well as provide invaluable insight and suggestions. It ultimately comes down to this. McFarland High School is committed to more students learning more, more teachers learning more, and more parents learning more. Please watch your emails and check the website for more information regarding Parent University. When we have completed the essential outcomes and have finalized our plan, we will be inviting you to attend McFarland High School Parent University.